21 of the Lico Day Challenge, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you know me, I've been, uh, I think, well, first is that New York is in the middle of perfect sports world right now. The Knicks are playing, uh, the Rangers are playing, Islanders, if you care about the Islanders, uh, and obviously we have baseball. So it's very exciting for me right now as a New Yorker, as a New York fan. Uh, let me know. Who are you rooting for in NBA play playoffs or even NHL playoffs? Uh, the Knicks just won, which is why I'm starting this a little bit late. Go Knicks. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, you're watching my, my stream the last week or whatever, my channel. Uh, you know, uh, chess has been kind of, the candidates has been very crazy, right? Uh, it is literally like, you know, uh, uh, Kakash is doing very well. Obviously found his way to uh, beat uh, Ali Fraser. Um and is all alone on the top of the candidates. I don't know why I'm giving an update. I mean, I'm just curious. But uh, they are all alone in the candidates with just one day to go. And four people still have a chance to win it. And everyone has to win their games. Or the people who wants to go on should win their games. So very really exciting things going on. Let me know in the comments if you're rooting for, you know, Kakash. Uh, I, I, I actually was rooting for Prague for a bit. But, well, I mean, you know, it's, it is what it is. And... Agawu and uh, Fabi, just Americans, you know. I mean, eh, gotta root for America, you know, I'm America. Anyway, uh, all right. Let me know in the comments what you're rooting for. And then the other other thing is, and I um, did a very quick intro, uh, as you may, may know. It's uh, it's four twenty today, uh, which apparently means that Washington Square Park in New York is uh, there's a lot of things happening. Anyway, it's a very busy day. There's a contest in less than an hour, so I'm trying to get through this. Luckily, is is an easy problem. Not going to do an extra problem because we're going to do an extra contest later. So, uh, so yeah, let's uh, with, with this very long intro. Let's get started. Find a path existent graph. Okay, what, what are we doing? So we have an edge, we have an end, we have a source, we have a destination. Um, we just want to see if you can go, get from source to destination. That's pretty straightforward, right? Um, there are a couple of ways you can do it. This is an easy problem. You can do a breath first search. You can do a depth first search. You have to be careful. Uh, and you can do connected, or uh, not, well, I mean, it is connected components, right? Um, it's whether um, the source is connected to destination. And so, of course, you can also do union fine. Whichever you do is fine. Just make sure you know the complexity and all these things. And also, um, yeah, just uh, if, if you haven't done, like, if you're using this problem for practice, practice to think that you're worse at, right? Like, or most unfamiliar with. Like, don't do the same thing that you've done the last five times, uh, right? I mean, it's also okay if you want to do that, but make sure that that's deliberate. Like, if you want to work on, like, oh, I've done BFS, but last time I did DFS, I just felt like I was a little bit slow in implementing it, right? That's fine, right? So just be careful or just be deliberate in what you do. Okay, uh, let, let's get started. Let's uh, let's do a breath first search. I like breath first search for these kind of problems for some reason. I don't know if that's true, but, but uh, yeah. And then here we can say, and we don't even need a thing. We just see, uh, let's just say done is, uh, we'll just call it a set, why not, right? And then, um, I mean, we have to convert this list to a, to an adjacency list. So that's actually called an adjacency list, right? No, that, but I, I, I don't know. I'm having trouble typing. Right? And then now we want to say done dot add source. We put it on a queue and then away we go. Right? And now we go to queue dot pop left, right? And then for we in adjacency list of now. Now if we is not in done, then done dot add we, queue dot append we and 
And then now at the very end, I mean, there are a couple of ways you could do it. You could also do an early termination. Then you could return um, destination in done, right? Because it's true false. And that should be mostly it. I mean, you could write it a couple of ways for sure. Um, but, you know, it shouldn't be that bad. Uh, yeah, huh. 1482 day streak. And yeah, faster than last time, I guess. Hmm. How did I do it like two weeks apart? That's pretty. Maybe I just did it randomly and then I got I don't know. And I did mostly the same actually last time. Uh, one of the last times. And then another time I did it also. I don't know. But yeah, so I guess I've done it the same way every time. But I don't remember it, right? Because I don't know. I mean, why remember these things? But, uh, but yeah, that's what I have with this one. Uh, oh, uh, but before I do say that, um, this is breath first search. It's linear time, linear space. And linear time and space actually means V plus E. Um, you can assume that E is on the order of N, though I guess technically for this problem it's not true. So you'd say this is V plus E, which is technically not linear because you're not giving all the... the um, the vertices are not part of the input, so technically it's just V plus E, right? E is the linear part, V is technically super linear because you're only given a thing. But I don't know, in reality it's close enough. I mean, you don't have to say it like that anyway. Just say V plus E and that'll be, probably be fine. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. If you're doing a contest later, good luck. Otherwise, I need to figure out how to get a fan going. Uh, it's very hot in my room for some reason. But still, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>